Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> we fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather this Saturday in our devotion to our mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the first disciple of Jesus, let us learn from her how to truly become disciples and followers of her Son to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your faithful who rejoice under the patronage of the most holy virgin mary may be freed by her motherly intercession from all evils on earth and merit the attainment of eternal joys in heaven through our lord jesus christ your son 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, Scripture confined all things under the power of sin, that through faith in Jesus Christ, the promise might be given to those who believe. Before faith came, we were held in custody under law, confined for the faith that was to be revealed. Consequently, the law was our disciplinarian for Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a disciplinarian. For through faith, you are all children of God in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free person, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to the promise. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Sing to Him, sing His praise. Proclaim all His wondrous deeds. Glory in His holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek to serve Him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that He has wrought, His portents, and the judgments He has uttered. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. You, descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob's, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. <laughs> Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you, and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. 
Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as Jesus was doing his ministry of healing, of preaching the Word of God, as he was going around the country, crowds were following Jesus. Crowds were forming around him always. Lagi siyang dinadagsa ng mga tao. Saan man siya magtungo? But Jesus, in our gospel today, teaches us that He is not looking for crowds. Jesus is looking for followers. Jesus is looking for disciples. Hindi hangad ni Jesus pagkaguluhan siya ng mga tao. Ang hangad niya, sundan siya ng mga alagad. In our gospel reading today, we see here a woman from the crowd. She exclaimed and shouted, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts that nursed you. But Jesus tried to correct her understanding. Jesus said, You will be blessed if you will hear my word and you will keep it and act on it. My dear brothers and sisters, that is an attitude if you are a crowd. Sometimes you do not really understand why you are following. Sometimes you have a wrong understanding if you are a crowd. But Jesus reminds the woman, do not just be one of the crowd. Be my disciple. Isn't that the attitude of a crowd? Sometimes they follow, but they do not understand. They have a different perspective. They just want to approach. Halimbawa, marami sa atin kapag nakakita ng pila, oh, may pila, pipila ako dyan. Pag tinanong mo, anong meron? Ay, hindi ko alam eh, basta may pila. O kaya minsan, maraming tao, no? Sisilip ka, sino ba yung nandyan? Ano bang gusto mong makita? The crowd just wants to approach. The crowd just wants to get something. But they do not really want to follow. Ganyan ang mga tao kapag may pag-uumpukan at dagsa ng mga tao. Gusto lang lumapit. Gusto lang may makuha. Pero ayaw mapalapit. Ayaw sumunod. That is the crowd that follow Jesus. They just want to get something from Jesus. But they do not want to be, to, to be close to Him and to follow Him. Are you one of the crowds? Or are you a follower of Jesus? That is why in our first reading today, from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, St. Paul reminds us, we are not a crowd. A crowd, St. Paul says in our first reading, needs a disciplinarian, the law. Because they are not disciplined. They do not understand why they follow Jesus. That is why they need a disciplinarian. But St. Paul teaches us, we are not a crowd. We are followers. We are disciples. 
That is why we do not need the law to discipline us. We need faith in Jesus. That is why the crowd, Jew or Greek, slave or free person, male or female, this is not anymore the crowd. We are transformed into one body of disciples. There is no more difference. There is no more a crowd. There is one body of disciples following Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, as we follow Jesus, let us ask ourselves, what is my attitude in following Jesus? Do I just have the attitude of the crowd? I just follow. I just want to approach Jesus. I just want to touch Jesus and get something from Him. And then I will leave Jesus. Or do we have the attitude of a disciple? I will follow Jesus wherever He may go, wherever He may bring me. Even if I do not get something from Jesus, I will follow because I am not just one of the crowds. I am a disciple of Jesus. Let us ask Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary. One of my favorite titles of Mary is the title, The First Disciple of Jesus. She is not just the mother who bore Jesus in her womb or who nursed Jesus in her breasts. Mary was the first disciple of Jesus. Let us ask Mary that we may truly have the true and authentic attitude of a disciple. Amen. Please all stand. Inspired by Mary's faith and courage, we bring our needs before God, our Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That under the patronage of Mary, the leaders of the church may bring God's people closer to Christ by their preaching and example, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That like Mary, we may welcome the Word of God into our hearts and respond to it with generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That following the example of Mary, mothers, may make their homes dwelling places of love and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may look with compassion on the sick with the help of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of Mary and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you chose Mary to be the mother of your Son. Help us through her intercession that we may treasure the memory of your Son's death and resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacrament of salvation, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we who have honored in veneration the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, may merit to experience in perpetuity the fruits of your redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.